Hey guys, uh, I'm driving through rush hour traffic here in Milwaukee uh, on my way to pick up some cool items that I found on Facebook Marketplace. I saw this listing, it was posted four days ago, and it seemed like a pretty good deal, but I sent the guy an offer and he told me that uh, he would sell it to me for my offer. Now I'm on my way to get it at the uh, worst time of day to travel, so that's cool. I forgot to mention, uh, this, what is that? Uh, a bunch of stuff fell out of this freight truck in front of me and it was like, it's like smoking. There's like a smoking kind of substance coming out of this truck and it left it all over the road. It's freaking me out, man. I don't know. All right, we just pull up to this guy's house in the darkest neighborhood I've ever seen. It's a very dark neighborhood. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head on up and uh, see what's up. Oh, hey, how's it going? Yeah, thanks for working with me on the price. Appreciate that. Just been sitting there collecting dust. I switched over to PC and I was like, I should do something with this before it loses all its value. I gotcha. All right, we got the goods and we're heading back. Uh, I don't think you guys want to just watch me talking to myself in a dark car anymore. So let's take it back to the studio. Let's go. Back to the studio. All right. <coughs> all right. Yeah, that was good. Oh, well, hello. Uh, we're back here in the Collector John studio. Uh, we're going to take a look at everything that I got from that Facebook Marketplace haul. But first, I want to talk about how much I paid for everything. Yeah, so the seller had priced this lot at $450. And that was already a pretty decent price, but I noticed that it had been up for a few days already. So because of that, I offered the seller $400 and he accepted my offer. Yeah, and this lot is pretty much all PlayStation 4 stuff. So let's take a look at what we got. So starting off, we have a PlayStation VR headset. Um, it did come with all the accessories and it appears to be in fairly good shape like it's definitely been used but um, yeah it looks fine and yeah the move controllers that it came with were actually complete in the box which I thought was interesting. A couple of the items in this lot came with the original box which I really like to see that. To me not only does it add like value to what you're getting because let's face it boxes add value even though they're just stupid boxes. I think it also shows that the seller probably took good care of their stuff. I think just when the seller has stuff in the original box, it's a little bit more indicative of that. Uh, we also have this big stack of games. Uh, we'll go through these individually and look at all of them in a minute here. But um, yeah, there's some decent titles in here, uh, some good PS4 games. So yeah, happy to have these with the lot. Uh, we have this extra white controller. Um, this thing is nice. I never had a white PS4 controller. I really like the way it looks. Um, I will probably end up keeping this just to have an extra controller around. And last but not least, we have the main reason that I bought uh, this PS4 lot is the Death Stranding PS4, which is, in my opinion, the coolest PS4 that money can buy. And I can already hear the comments saying, no, it's not the coolest PS4. The coolest PS4 is the 20th anniversary gray PS1, uh, you know, the, the PS4 that looks like a PS1, or the, the 500 million transparent PS4 Pro. Those PS4s are way cooler than the Death Stranded. You're wrong. Uh, and no, I'm not wrong because this is this is my opinion. And my opinion is that this is the coolest PS4 um, that was ever put out. I've been really wanting to get one of these for a while and uh, I think I, you know, I need to open it and look at it. And I want you guys to look at it with me. So let's go. All right, I'm really excited to check out this Death Stranding PS4 Pro. So, uh, let's bust this baby open. Sweet. Struggling a little bit here. It looks like this part of the box is ripped and I can already tell why because it's freaking difficult to get it open. Okay, I got it though. We got that. We got that. We got that. More flaps. Still has the original cardboard inserts, which is cool. Keeps the console nice and secure. All right, this thing overall looks like it's in pretty nice shape. Um, it does have some like visible kind of scuffs on the glossy white part on top here. Um, they're really hard to see unless you look super closely and the handprints look totally okay. It's just like the white part. Um, has some little scuffs on it. Yeah, I tried to show the scuffs on camera just now, but I cannot even get them to be visible on camera, so 
Um, it's definitely visible in person, but it's also one of those things where like, I'm gonna notice it this one time and then I'm gonna put it on my uh, media shelf and I'm going to enjoy how it looks from afar and never look at it that close again. <laughs> Unless I'm putting a game in, but I definitely, I won't notice even if I'm doing that, I don't think, so. Um, yeah, this thing, this thing looks good. Yeah, all the ports and everything look like they're in pretty good shape. Um, the front of the console looks good. It's like a little, little scuff right here. I just, that just rubbed right off. Yeah, this thing looks nice. It's obviously been used. Um, it hasn't just been like kept in a box this whole time, but that's, that's totally okay because I'm, I plan on keeping this around and continuing to use it. And I don't really care about the, you know, collectible resale value of that much. It's just something that I'm going to um, use and enjoy. And I think for that, this will be, this will be excellent. All right, let's take a look at this controller. This controller seems to be in very good shape and it's, it's just a, it's just a beautiful controller. I mean, look at it. I, okay. So first of all, uh, the, I think the orange color is great. Um, that looks really cool. It's a great shade of orange. The transparent shell looks excellent. I'm a sucker for uh, transparent technology. I've always wanted just like a transparent uh, DualShock 4. I mean, the, the Crystal DualShock 4, even just that one looked really cool. And I've, I thought one of those would be really cool to have, but this one is like, this is like the best looking uh, transparent PS4 controller, I would say, that's actually made by Sony. Um, and like, you can see, you know, this text on the top, the Death Stranding, that looks fantastic um, on the touch bar here. The orange buttons look nice. Yeah, this controller's in really good shape, it seems, overall. Um, even the label on the back, the, the Sony label, a lot of times these get worn down because, like, you're, you know, you're touching it with your, your fingers a lot on the back. So these get worn down, but this one seems to be um, totally intact, which is great. Uh, I love to see that. Yeah, honestly, I'm just really happy to have this controller. <laughs> I mean, the console is great, but even if I just owned this controller, I would be super stoked about that. Um, but yeah, having them both together is just uh, an awesome feeling. I'm so glad that I finally got one of these consoles. I know my friend used to have one before he got his PS5, and he he ended up getting rid of it. I wish I would have just bought it from him, but I, I slept on that like a moron. So I was always jealous of that Death Stranding console that he had, but now I, I have my own, which feels great. We'll plug in the PS4 and test it out in a minute, but first I want to take a look at uh, these games and this other stuff that we got here. We have a big stack of games here. Um, we're going to go through them one by one. Um, I'm going to talk about which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm going to sell. Um, I feel like most of them I'm probably going to sell. It doesn't seem like there's a lot that I'm interested in, but uh, let's take a look at them. All right, so we have Assassin's Creed, the Ezio Collection. I've never been like super into Assassin's Creed. Um, honestly, if I was going to keep an Assassin's Creed game, it'd probably be this one because I like the, um, the older Assassin's Creeds more than the newer ones. Um, like the Xbox 360, PS3 era Assassin's Creeds. Um, those are the only ones that I ever really got into, and I know that this is kind of like a remastered collection of some of those. Um, but I feel like even though remasters are cool, I'd probably rather just play those on their original hardware. So I will probably end up selling this one. And we have Assassin's Creed Black Flag, again, uh, not a game that I'm super into. Um, I did play this when it came out, but it, you know, it didn't really, it didn't really grab me. Um, I just thought it was okay. Yeah, probably another one that I'm gonna end up selling. Oh boy, we got Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, this guy loved his Assassin's Creed. Um, yeah, not gonna keep this one either. But I know a lot of people really like this one. I think this is like the last one they did before they really switched up the um, the formula with uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Was that the one where they switched it up? I don't, I'm not sure. I know they were like, it was either Odyssey or something else. I can't, I can't keep the names of all those straight, but yeah. Another one for the cell pile. Uh, Assassin's Creed Unity with no cover art. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not keeping that. Um, this is tempting. Bioshock the Collection. Hmm. This is kind of cool. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a version that I would actually play. Um, I, I feel like I was, if I was going to play Bioshock, I would just play it on my Xbox 360 because that would be more nostalgic for me. But um, yeah, this. You know, Bioshock's amazing. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'll keep this because it's kind of cool, even if I probably won't play it. Um, I feel like it'd just be a cool one to have. So I'm not sure about that. Maybe I'll keep that one. Uh, UFC 2. Eh, no, I'm not interested. Yeah, this is just not something that I would play. So that's 
That'll go on the cell pile. Uh, this is kind of interesting. So, uh, it's a sealed copy of Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted. Um, it's in good shape. Uh, is this a PlayStation VR exclusive, or is, does it just include a VR mode? It says, enhance your gameplay with PSVR. So, I'm guessing that this game is not like, uh, you know, it's not VR mandatory. I'm guessing you can play it without VR. Um, I've never really been that into Five Nights at Freddy's. I, I guess uh, this person and I have very different tastes in games. <laughs> um, I, I love horror games, but... Uh, yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's just doesn't really grab me that much. I think it's kind of kind of lame, but, you know, to each their own. Uh, the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition. I do not have a physical copy of Witcher 3 on the PS4, but I do have it digitally. Um, I feel like I'm probably not going to keep this either. Uh, I don't know. It would be cool to have a physical copy. I'm just not sure if I would play this on the PS4. Um, if I was going to replay The Witcher again, which I have played it multiple times... Uh, I'd probably play it on the PC just because uh, it's such a like amazing looking game. When you max out the graphics, I feel like I'd probably just want to um, do that on my PC. So yeah, I don't know. I'll probably I'll probably sell this one, but yet to be decided. Uh, we have a PlayStation VR demo disc. I'll probably end up selling this. Uh, I don't really need it. Uh, we have The Walking Dead, uh, the new frontier. This is the the Telltale Walking Dead game. So I fell off the series at the first one. That was the only one that I played. Yeah, I'll probably end up selling this in some capacity. Uh, we got The Division. Uh, no, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna keep this. I've played The Division. I don't really have any interest in going back to it. And this game is worth like 50 cents, probably. So uh, maybe a little more than that, but I don't know. Um, I will probably end up selling this or trading it in. And lastly, we have The Evil Within. Um, Certainly not the best game on this pile of games that I just looked through, but I think this is the one that I actually am for sure going to keep. Um, I've never played the first Evil Within. I have I have played the second one and I like it a lot. Um, and I know that this one's like not as good as the second one, at least from what I've heard. But I it's something that I would probably check out sometime. And I think having a physical copy of it would be cool. So this one I, I think I'm definitely gonna keep. I just wanted to look at these motion controllers really quick, but I'm actually going to probably sell that headset. I did used to own a PSVR headset, and I I ended up selling it. I just didn't use it enough, um, so I don't really have an interest in keeping this one. Um, I mostly just got it as like part of the bundle, something to sell to like offset the price of me buying the Death Stranding PS4. Um, and I'm also going to sell my other PS4 Pro, and I, I think after selling the... Uh, my, PS, my other PS4 Pro and the VR headset, I should be able to recoup most, if not all, of the cost of this bundle. And yeah, these both seem to be in great shape, so that's cool. And uh, again, I love that they came with the box. Yeah, it came with all the other uh, PSVR accessories too. I'm not gonna show them all on camera, because um, it's just like a bunch of stuff, but uh, it did come with everything else. Everything seems to be in pretty good shape, so that's good. It even came with this little charging dock, which is nice. Um, I think you can put the headset up here, uh, it's like a little cradle for the headset, and then the motion controllers can kind of just go in these little slots here to charge them up. So, uh, when I sell the PSVR, I'll definitely bundle this with it, and uh, hopefully somebody else can enjoy having this, because it's kind of cool. And lastly, yeah, just this white controller. Um, it seems to be in very good shape, uh, much like the other controller. Um, everything looks good, the label is fully intact on the back. This is cool, I like the white controller, it looks nice. All right, well, I got this thing all plugged in. Uh, it seems to be working great. Um, I'm doing the uh, data transfer from my other PS4 to this one. Uh, something that I think is really cool is that I, I still have PT installed on my PS4 Pro. And when I did the system transfer from my, my old like launch model PS4 to my PS4 Pro, um, PT actually stayed installed on there and it still works. Even though they had removed the game from the store, at the time and you can no longer re-download it from your library. Um, it still worked with the system transfer and it still works today. Uh, so I'm guessing the same will be true when I transfer PT over to this PS4, uh, which is pretty sweet because I feel like there probably are not very many Death Stranding PS4s out there with PT installed. Um, I mean, this was launched like well after um, PT had been removed from the PlayStation Store and was no longer downloadable. So I'm sure there are a few people who have PT installed on one of these, um, but probably not very many. And uh, I feel proud to be one of the weirdos that has PT installed on a 
Death Stranding PS4. And I feel like as far as custom PS4s go, um, this is the one that's like the closest to kind of a horror themed PS4. Um, and I really like horror games and horror movies. So having one of these that has like kind of this horror adjacent theme, it looks kind of creepy. It has PT installed on it. Uh, yeah, that just makes me feel really cool. Um, and I am super stoked to have this uh, very special machine. And yeah, this system transfer is gonna take another like hour or so. So I think what we're gonna do is uh, go look for some PS4 games. I've really had the itch lately to start collecting for the PS4. I got my PS4 back in 2015 when Bloodborne came out. It was about eight years ago now, and it was just like a very different time in my life. Um, I wouldn't say it was a better time in my life than where I'm at now, but the PS4 just like helped me through kind of a lot of difficult times in my life. And I, I have a lot of fondness for this console and its library of games, and I'm starting to feel like I would like to have more physical games for my PS4. This is like definitely a good time to start doing that. That stuff is getting a lot cheaper. Um, and also a good time to secure uh, a cool collectible console like this one, because uh, this stuff is only gonna get more expensive as time goes on. And uh, yeah, I'm glad that I was able to get one when the, when the getting was good, you know what I mean? So yeah, I think it's time to switch over to the Collector John Corolla cam again, and uh, go look for some games. Uh, I have a good idea of where we're gonna go. It might not be where you expect. It's not Mega Media Exchange. It's, uh, it's way worse than that, but uh, I think we're gonna find some good deals today anyway, so let's hit it. So we're actually gonna hit up a store today that I don't go to very often, and that's uh, GameStop. Because like, who shops at freaking GameStop anymore? Uh, not me. But, you know, here and there, like, sometimes they have promotions, or sometimes, uh, like this time, I'm, I know that they have two of the games that I want. Um, I checked online, and they have a copy of Death Stranding, which I really want um, to go with my Death Stranding PS4. And they also have Tearaway Unfolded for the PS4, which is another one that I really want. At least they do, according to the website, and they're both in used condition. So that just brings to mind the age-old GameStop question of, will these games come with the cover art? or will they be in stupid GameStop cases? I have no idea. But according to the website, this GameStop at least has them. So we're going to check check out this location and uh, see what we can find. And also, according to the website, uh, GameStop is running a promotion right now where you can get four used games that are under $20 for $40. So you could theoretically get uh, $80 worth of used games for $40. Um, I don't know if that promotion is going to be running in store or if it's just a website thing, but we'll see. And you know, I'm in Milwaukee, it's a major metropolitan area. There are a lot of game stops in this city and I've never been to this one. I've only been to like two of them. So I have no idea what this location is like. Could be extremely sketchy. Uh, I have no idea, but we'll see. <laughs> Stick around to the end of the video for an exclusive review of Taco Bell's new chicken, uh, gr uh, grilled chicken verde burrito. Available now only at Taco Bell. You don't want to miss this review. It's very uh, informative and exclusive. So please watch till the end of the video and uh, you can find out if the burrito's good. Okay, back to GameStop. Just pull up to the GameStop. It's in one of these, uh, you know, shopping plazas. We got a Papa John's ch uh, Chinese place. Uh, you know, typical kind of GameStop location. Uh, but yeah, let's check it out and see what we can find. All right, I am inside the GameStop and I can confirm they are still selling video games here. So that's cool. Yeah, decent selection of PS4 titles. But before we dive in, I need to confirm uh, with an employee if they're doing that promotion or not. So let's head on over to the counter. Are you guys doing any promotions on used games today? I know games are nine ninety nine and you four for twenty. Okay, cool. Games that are nineteen ninety nine are four for forty. I do not know. Gotcha. Cool. Um, all right, I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. But thank you. Appreciate that. All right, they are doing the promo, so it's time to pick up some games. We got Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. Uh, this is a great game. I have it digitally, and it would be nice to have a physical copy, so I might pick that one up. Uh, we'll see. Another one that caught my eye here, Resident Evil 2. Uh, this is a fantastic remake of Resident Evil 2. Um, definitely one of my favorite horror games of that generation. So that's another one we might grab. I don't know, but let's keep looking around here. Gran Turismo 7. Uh, ooh, $40. That's, uh, that's a lot for a used copy. We'll put that back. Uh, oh, they have Tearaway Unfolded Crafted Edition. This is one of the games that I was actually looking for today that I saw online. So we're definitely going to grab this one. Anime. 
All right, I'm not seeing the Death Stranding that I came here for. Uh, the website said it was here, but I don't see it on the shelf. Uh, that's that's a bummer. That's like the whole reason I came here, and it's, it's I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, man. I don't know what I'm going to do if I can't get this Death Stranding. What am I going to do? Help! All right, we're back in the Corolla. Um, all right, we're back in the Corolla. Uh, that was a pretty decent GameStop experience. I uh, haven't really been to one in a while. Haven't bought anything uh, inside a GameStop store for kind of a long time. They tried to sell me a warranty on all the games for $8, which is like, no, don't, don't buy warranties from GameStop. Um, and then also the membership thing, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty chill, pretty good experience overall. Yeah, if you heard earlier in the video, they were actually doing the, the promotion I was talking about. So, uh, you could get four of any used game that was under $20 for $40. So you're basically like getting four games for $10 each uh, if they're under $20. I don't know if I'm explaining that well. I don't know. You get it. You get it, right? You know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so here's what I ended up getting. Um, we got Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. I'm wondering about these stickers, right? Like, I know everybody talks about how terrible the GameStop stickers are, but I think I heard that they're not as bad anymore. So I'm gonna just really quick, let's see if we can, what do we got? What do we got? Hey, that's, that's not bad. That came right off. Um, there's a little more sticker residue on there, but that's not, that's not even from this sticker. That was just like underneath it. That's fine. We can, we can get that off. Yeah, this game, I initially, I was thinking like, I'm not gonna get it because kind of a stupid reason, but it was like, they had it up for $11 and I was thinking like, I'm not even saving any money on the, with the promotion if I get the $11 game, but then, there's like nothing else that I really wanted, so <laughs> I just I just went with this. Uh, this game is amazing. It's it's one of the one of the best stealth action games ever made. Um, I've played it a few times. I have a digital copy of it on my PS4, but I was like, eh, I want a physical copy of this. Um, and they also had the uh, definitive edition. They had it for 25, and I you know I don't really need the definitive edition. I think just the the standard uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 is cool, so we're good with that. That'll be a good one to have, for sure. Uh, then we got Resident Evil 2. Um, they were selling this one for 18, so with a promotion I got it for 10. And let's see if we can get this sticker off. Um, yeah, this is just another uh, fantastic game. Fantastic remake of a classic title. Um, I've already played it, I have it on Steam, but I think uh, I would like to have a physical copy of it and play it on my Death Stranding PS4, so. We have that now. Um, and then yeah, I got Tearaway Unfolded, very cool. Very stoked to have this. Um, I played the Vita version of Tearaway, um, and I owned the, the Tearaway on Vita. I own a physical copy of it. And that is just a sublime uh, 3D platformer. One of the better 3D platformers that I've ever played. And I was interested in checking out this version of it. I'm not really sure. Um, what the differences are, I'm not really sure how they handle like all the touch controls and stuff with, you know, you're like doing stuff with the uh, the touch screen on the back of the Vita. So I'm not really sure how they handle all that, all that stuff, but I wanna see, uh, you know, I wanna check it out. So this is an awesome game. And yeah, that's right. We got Death Stranding, baby. Uh, we got what it came for. It came, comes with the original case and everything. Um, none of these games had manuals in them. I honestly like, Collecting newer games, I just don't know a lot of the time, like, did the game even come with a manual? Like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of the time they don't. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm just not really that concerned about it with these PS4 games. If it comes with a manual, cool. If it doesn't, I'm I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna cry about it, it's, it's fine. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what we got. That's the GameStop haul, my first one in a while, and we spent $42.20. So, that's not bad. That's not bad for four just awesome PS4 games. I'm, I'm stoked. But yeah, so now it's either time to head back to the studio uh, or it's, it's the end of the video. I don't know which one. I haven't started editing the video yet, so I don't really know how it's gonna go. But, uh, so I'll record one thing where I say, back to the studio. And then I'll record another one where I say, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and stick around for more content from uh, from me, Collector John, because I'm going to be around making content. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out. I got to go to Taco Bell now. Let's go get some Taco Bell. Woo! You go ahead with your order. Hey, I just had a mobile order for John.
You can pull it to the second window. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're trying out the new uh, Salsa Verde Grilled Chicken Burrito from Taco Bell. Um, yeah, this is a new product. Uh, I think the the thing that's like new about it is that they're using the Verde Salsa again. Um, that is a discontinued salsa. I remember they had it in, I think like in my late high school, early college, that's when they were using it. So like kind of around uh, late 2000s, early 2010s, that was when they were using Salsa Verde. They got rid of it, but she's back and they're only using it in a couple products right now. And I think uh, it might, it's either a couple products or just the burrito, I'm not mm. sure. Um, but yeah, it has chicken in it. It's got the salsa. It's, uh, I don't know what else it has in it, but I'm gonna put it in my mouth and eat it. Let's give it a shot, see how it tastes. Yeah, that's good. That's a good burrito. Okay, it's got rice in it for sure. Um, I think it has some, maybe some nacho cheese, uh, some regular cheese, maybe some of the Baja sauce, uh, the chicken, the salsa. Um, and it's, you know, it's in a very uh, nicely grilled um, tortilla. And this is, this one's very fresh, it's very hot. It tastes extremely good. Um, I would give it an 8.7 out of 10. I recommend it. Woo! Yeah, that's good. Baja Blast, baby. Blast me every time. All right, thanks for watching. I'm gonna finish my Taco Bell. We'll see you next time.